as an Andrian, uh, as a parent of an Andrian, um, and as, uh, as a governor, I've had an opportunity to meet old boys from all generations. And what strikes me over and over again is their tremendous feelings towards the school and their tremendous generosity. And to see that manifest itself in financial support to help the school move forward yet again is uh, tremendously rewarding. And uh, it's, uh, I'm proud to be part of that group. One of my main objectives as headmaster is to ensure that this school is at the forefront of schools in this country for years and years to come. The school is in, uh, is, is in really a wonderful place. Our programs are at such a, a level of excellence it's hard to improve on. What we do need, however, is to improve the facilities that uh, the programs are delivered in. The challenges that the school faces are significant, and the board realizes this, and uh, we've uh, decided to launch a new uh, fundraising appeal, and uh, we're going to title the campaign uh, Not an Ordinary Place. The first phase, we're really pleased uh, to say, has already been completed. At the core of this renewed commitment to athletics is this wonderful landmark on the upper fields the Ewell Family Athletic Complex. There's this beautiful new baseball diamond. There's a synthetic turf, which is world-class. There's only two of them in all of Canada. Uh, that, that'll be for the football team, lacrosse, soccer. We've got an 800-seat stadium with a press box, big red one. Uh, we've got wonderful track and field facilities now and uh, two multi-purpose outdoor courts and all sorts of additional parking. It's every school's dream, but there's still a lot to do. As anyone who has eaten lunch or dinner at the college will know, the food is great, but the facilities need to be improved. The uh, dining staff at the school work so hard. They are working in facilities designed for only a couple hundred boys, and now they serve over 700 meals a day. So they need an expanded and renovated space for preparation of the food, for food storage, and for the servery. The drama program at St. Andrews is one of a kind. By far, there are more students, more boys at St. Andrews involved in drama than any of our rival schools. No doubt about it. We received a generous leadership gift to support and name a performing arts center at St. Andrews College. This involves a number of uh, areas. One is a rehearsal and uh, teaching space for drama and filmmaking. Uh, two is this wonderful thrust stage theater. The third part is this full working auditorium. We need an auditorium where the entire school, from grade five right up to grade 12, faculty, staff, can all be in one place regularly. It's an extremely important part of this campaign to me personally. Another top priority of the campaign is our music center. Music requires a very high degree of physical control and precision. We have a superb music program, and that program deserves to be in a better setting. Music gets to move into its own new center, and it's about time. This music center will include a beautiful large band room and practice rooms for breakout work. Our robotics and engineering program is probably the most rapidly growing program in the school these days. Five years ago, we were not on the map. This year, we went to Turkey and won the gold medal at the World High School Robotics Championships. We need a facility to support that program. We've been blessed again with a uh, lead donor to support and name an engineering center. This center will provide for a CAD or computer assisted design lab and a robotics cage. That's where the robots can duke it out in soccer and various other endeavors. Our business leadership program brings the boardroom to the classroom. At least 40% of our graduating class on a yearly basis goes on to study commerce at university. We need a facility that will give them a head start. Business and leadership studies will get their own center. This will involve a number of uh, classrooms that can be made into boardrooms and also provide other specialized teaching space for business, entrepreneurship, and leadership skill studies. So why do we need all these facilities? I think that's a great question to ask the headmaster. St. Andrews College has to stand at least alongside, if not even taller, than our greatest rivals. Our students and their parents have every reason to expect top-notch facilities. This is an opportunity for all members of the Andrian community to come together. First of all, to recognize the very high level of our artistic, uh, educational, and athletic endeavors. We need homes for some of these programs. 
these programs that have been recognized throughout North America and it's time to put the facilities in place to match that quality level. This campaign is not only about helping our current students, it's also about providing for the next generation of Andrians. You walk the campus and you know those buildings were not funded and built and leadership wasn't provided to build them uh, within the funds of the school. The campus is what it is because of the tremendous leadership and efforts and generosity of those who went before us. This will be a historic campaign, a lasting reminder that our generation of the Andrian community had the vision and the commitment to reconfirm that St. Andrews is that special and not an ordinary place. We get to enjoy the benefits of that generosity every day. It is now time for us as the next generation to give back, to leave our mark. It clearly falls fairly and squarely on us to do what we can to perpetuate the success of the school. In the school's first decade, the Oxford scholar Goldwyn Smith described St. Andrews College as not an ordinary place, quite fitting. Since the school's founding days to the college that we know today, it's never been an ordinary place. And I think giving back to keep it that way is a wonderful kind of immortality.